During this demo, we're going to make these Witchall inspired um, earrings. They're using 11 O's and 15's and the gecko beads, which are amazing um, for the centres. We also need some beading thread and some cutters and of course your needles. And if you've got a beading mat, it makes life easier. Let's get cracking. So we're going to start off with 12 of our um, size 11s or 11 O's. On your thread, do a couple of overhand knots to secure them into a loop. Don't worry if it looks a bit out of shape because we will put it into shape. And then take your needle through the first couple of beads. Now for the actual earrings, I've used um, the one colour. For the demo, I've used multiple colours so you can see the different layers as we go through. So from here, we're going to add on five of our first layer beads. And it all, all revolves around doing these repeated sections. So you pop your five elevens on and go back through the last bead you came out of. Then you go through the next two beads. Now because you had 12 beads to begin with, this means you're going to have every other bead is going to have a loop on it. So we put our next five on, four, five, go back through that same bead and you create your loops going round, which are going to look like that. So once you've got your five, and again, don't worry if they look a little bit funny shaped, they will settle down as you pull it. And uh, you could go round and, and just sort of tweak them and get them all to look loop up, but don't worry about it. So once you've come through your last bead with your loop, go through the next centre bead and then up through the first two so we're stepping out to the next layer of your next loop so you've come up through there now we're going to work on the top three of these beads so we're going to add our next layer of five so we'll add our next loop on miss the very top bead and go in through the next one okay and we're forming our loop on top then we're going to bridge the gap between the loops, put 11 on, go through that second bead up, pull it and then add your next 11. And you keep doing that till you've gone all the way round. And when you get back to the, to the end, as you did this one, you're going to step up and come out through the first two beads. So I'm going to pop that one over there and that will then look like that so you've gone all the way around your first your second layer and we've come up through our first two beads of that layer so we're now going to add the next layer on so we've got another layer another set of five so it's all these sets of five loops miss the middle one go down through the next one okay. now the this this style of beading there are so many varieties such a fabulous format and they do such amazing colours, patterns, um, it, it, it's fabulous. Right, so for this junction here, it's bigger, we can't just put one in, we're going to put one 11, two of the 15s oops, and one of the 11 and then again we're going to miss that first yellow and go through the second one. Catch there, okay, so you're putting your five on Miss your top one, go through your next one, and then your 11, two 15s, back to your 11, and so on. So again, you're going to follow this through. Make sure you don't hook it round there. You're going to follow this through until you get all the way round. Draw that needle and once you come round again you're going to go up through the first two of that layer and we're going to add the next layer so this is the outer layer of the flower starting to form now so we're going to add on our next five miss the top one go through the next one now this time I mean this is a big gap we're now starting to form the sort of distinction of the petals so we're going to add on four of our 
number 15s. Then we're going to go through the bottom two 15s of the next layer bridge. Okay, you could just take it straight across, but this is how this one's been done. And then we're going to do one, two, three, four. Taking our four and we're going to come up again, missing the bottom one of that layer, going through the next one. Um, add on your next one, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and go down. And again, you're going to follow that round. So you're adding on your five on top of your main part of your petal, and then four and four. And you're going to follow that through until you get to there. You can see now, because you've got the um, 15s. You're starting to get a little bit of texture forming. It's not lying 100% flat because flat because you're pushing more beads in. So this is this this just gives it a little bit of um, texture. So this time, because this is our outer layer, we just want to form the outsides of these petals. So we're actually going to go straight across. We've come up our first two. We're going to go straight across the next two fetching our thread between them and then we're actually going to go down here so I'm going to return to the blue again to make it quite distinct we're going to add three of our 11s on and then we're going to pick up the middle two of those four um, 15s I'm going to pull that through and you see how this is starting to form that petal shape then we're going to bridge the gap with one of the 11s into the middle two of the 15s pull that through and then another three of the 11s then you're going to go through the top three of your petal one two three and you you'll see now because that's only got half a one you'll really see it on this one so we're going to add our next three do that again through the two 15s that are in the middle of the four so you can now see this sort of broader shape to this to this um petal forming pick up your connector 11 through the two middle ones you find that the eight tend to form little sort of squares which makes it very easy to pick up the center two okay and another three and you keep going with this again till you're all the way round okay once you've got all the way round you've finished your base level of this petal so the only other thing we need to do is actually add on the gecko beads and I've taken six of the gecko beads threaded them onto my thread and tied a couple of double hand knots on top so we're going to place that on top of our flower now it should the center of those roughly is the same as the center of that gap it's slightly smaller so try and center it and you're going to pick up one of your center loop of 11s then you're going to go through one of your gecko beads there's loads of room i would recommend for doing where you're doing the um 15s i would recommend using a size 11 12 needle um or smaller because the 10 is a bit chunky so again you're going to go down so effectively you're doing every other bead again let me just pick that one up I've started with the one that's slightly down a bit. I should have started with the other one. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have to move it a little bit to get in there. Go through your next one. All you're do doing is securing this into place. Once you've gone all the way around, take your needle through the back of your thread and then you can knot it off by going a couple of times through there, wrap on a couple of times and pull through. 
then thread it before you trim. These two um, other threads, this one, the centre one, is the one that you knotted. That can just be threaded through and cut, that's already knotted. And the other thread, again, fetch it to the back, thread it through, um, knot it off, thread it through and then trim. To put the loop on, before you cut the outer thread off, take it down to the centre and where you've got your centre connector 11, come through there, add on 10 of your 15s, come back through, forms a loop and then you can pop your pop your uh, earring finding on. If you're going to use it for a bracelet or anything else, ignore the loop and then you can connect them together however you fancy. Have fun making your earrings.